Okay guys, this is the second episode of this series on the Sony Vegas Pro 8 Basics. Um, in this video we're going to talk about the media pool bin, basically, and what's all in there, and all the little tools. So the first thing you guys kind of need to know is, last time we talked about the whole entire layout of Vegas. I'm not going to do that now, so I think I'm going to. But the first button in the media pool bin is the remove unused media. That button, let's say you have three pieces of media. And I'm going to just drag three things in here. Like I have this checkerboard. I have a solid color. And I have another solid color. Well, let's say that all of a sudden I decided to delete orange or blue. Well, now let's say that these colors were off a disk and I removed the disk and I decide not to end up using it. All I have to do is just click this quick sweep and anything that's not on the timeline gets deleted. It needs to be on the timeline for it to disappear. So it's kind of a nice little tool. It just sweeps out your media bin and gets rid of any media you don't need. Because sometimes you might be working with media and you lose the connection between the media and then there's this media offline footage message and it's kind of annoying. So just use them once in a while. The next button is the import media. You've seen me use this button about 8 billion times. You push it and this pops up it looks like a browse window like when you're saving except it's an import button the only difference here is instead of looking for a word document I'm looking for video files so now if I had something like this again that quick sweep button you can sweep it out it's really nice capture video I'm not going to go into this time that will be a different video but basically it's a capture tool for capturing mini DV tape get photo that is for um, photos and scanners and that stuff extract audio from C this is pretty cool if you click this obviously if you have CD you get a list you can play them and then all you click is you would select it and click OK and um, it would pull it into your project for you. It's really cool. Get media from web. I never use it. It just takes you to Sony's website and you can buy media from them. But Media properties, media effects, um, play, stop, auto preview, views, and search the media bins. Um, that's all there is for the buttons. Now I want to talk to you guys about in and out points, but to do that I have to go into the trimmer. So yeah. Now you probably noticed that I was able to double click. If you go under your options and under your preferences. Just like you can flip where the timeline is on the screen, if you look towards the top, it says double click loads media files onto the trimmer instead of tracks. You gotta make sure that's checked, it will default to not be checked. You wanna make sure that's checked. Apply it and then click OK. Another thing you could also do is if you set up a shortcut key, like I did, so whenever I push Control C, this pops up. It's the event pan crop. We'll go over customization of the keyboard in a different video, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, the next tab you have is your transitions. They're pretty cool. Um, you also have video effects. This is where the chroma keyer one is. but you guys get the idea of that and then the last tab is the media generators um, 
They're pretty much always the same. I mean, you can add backgrounds from it. Like, I'm gonna add this lava. And you can animate things. With keyframes. It's pretty cool. But, you guys get the idea. It plays that background behind me. But, that's pretty much it for today's episode. Now, let me put in a shameless plug for my new website. It's The web address is http colon slash slash chromajt.co.nr. Go check it out. It's getting updated. Now, I'm changing the entire website. This is just kind of a temporary one. But, for right now, that will work. Now, I have to go get something to get rid of this wire out of my mouth because it's hurting me. So, I'm going to get out of here. See ya.